I like that you're talking about, you talked about targets in there because we have a question from Will Terry. Uh, he's curious if there's a point where you start getting more aggressive with your targeting, uh, not chasing tuck pins, but more, okay, this pin's sitting, let's tr- a sitting duck, let's knock it down. Because I think we should preface that by saying uh, you, talk, you talk about picking the right targets quite a bit in your book. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and yeah. what would your approach to targets be and when do you get more aggressive? Generically speaking, I think with approach play and even wedge play, <clears throat> the answer is to be more conservative than most golfers assume. I think most golfers have strategy backwards. They're too conservative off the tee and then too aggressive with iron shots. And I think that that script should be flipped for a number of reasons. Again, I won't get into that because I'll be talking for two hours. Um, so to answer Will's question, who I did play with at the Chasing Scratch event that you were at, Tom, hey. um, Will's a great guy. We had a really good time. I think it depends on the the skill level of the player. I think the better you are and the more skilled ball striker, the more quote unquote aggressive you can get with your targets. And more importantly, the closer you get to the hole. Um, so I would never chase, if we're thinking about a green in like four quadrants, for example, and let's say I had a hundred yard wedge shot. I would never chase that green if it was on tucked front right, tucked front left, or back right, back left. I'm always going to be somewhere in that middle-ish area. Now, as I get closer to the hole, and I, I am a pretty good wedge player, I might adjust a little bit closer to the pin, but I'm never going to go all the way to the left or to the right because on some shots, I'm going to leave the face a little bit open or it's going to be a little bit closed. I'm going to miss to the right. I'm going to miss to the left. And more importantly, I'm going to miss front and long. Um, so I'm always giving myself a little bit of cushion room with distance. I'm not going to chase a front pin and say, oh, it's 90 to the pin and 84 front. I ain't, I'm not pulling a club at 87. I'm going to try and hit 9,500 um, just to give myself some cushion so I can, if I don't hit it great or I hit it a little bit fat, I can still hit the green. Um, and more important directionally, yeah, I, I still think the meat of the green is never a bad target. Um, I always tell people I like you at the center and taking more club closer to the back yardage as a generic piece of advice. But yeah, as you get closer to the hole and your skill level increases, I think you can adjust a little bit closer to the pin, but never going like full if the pin's in the middle, then sure, that's technically pin hunting. But I want you to stay away from those situations where you're going to short side yourself because the, the data is quite clear on that. When a recreational golfer short sides themselves, when they have less room between them and the pin, they're in a bunker in the rough, uh, their score is going to increase. Uh, so we, we absolutely want to hit more greens. And if we do miss greens, we want to give ourselves more straightforward chips or pitch shots so that we can get it on the putting surface and two putt for our bogey at worst. It's that this is not a uh, hero time. This is where a lot of golfers throw away strokes uh, in, in, in situations like these. Mm. And that's a really interesting point, you know, using some intelligent restraint there. But when you started, when you said, you know, being more aggressive off the tee and more conservative on the approach, sort of that, I know we don't have two hours to get into it, but is that, <laughs> would that, would that be because, you know, the, the margin for error off the tee is, you know, taking hazards out of play is, uh, is much wider and where really anything on the green is going to improve your scoring like immediately. Yes. Yeah. You get on the putting surface. That's a much better predictor of scoring. Um, you know, you have a 60 foot putt versus a 30 yard, uh, sorry, a 30 foot chip. I'd take the putt every time for most golfers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the name of the game is hitting a lot of greens and off the tee, It's more, can I advance the ball as far as I can while avoiding the big capital B trouble, out of bounds, penalty areas, fairway bunkers, uh, trees, recovery situations. And I think a lot of golfers gave uh, too much value, myself included, to thinking that safety clubs off the tee were the answer. And they're more accurate. They're they're not as accurate as they think with their four iron or three hybrid uh, a lot of the time. So just by taking that shorter club, now we're giving ourselves a longer approach shot by 30, 40, 50 yards. And thanks to Mark Brody, who I know has been on the show and, and someone mm-hmm. I've learned a lot from, we now understand the value of that distance loss. So that's why, yeah, I had to embrace my driver years ago because um, distance off the tee is a huge predictor of scoring. And more importantly, how often can we avoid that big trouble? But as you said, that could be a whole separate conversation. 